In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and setup of your brother printer MFC J1010DW. Plug in the power cable, and remove the tape. You can load the paper here, so that's the paper tray. Just take it out, lift this section up, adjust the size, slide the pages in. Now go to the printer display panel, select the date and the time. Select time. Next is to install the ink cartridge. So ink cartridge chamber is here. Open this section. Remove this orange cover. Now take your ink cartridges out of the plastic packaging. And we have to install them here. Make sure the nozzle goes inside like this. So slide it in. Once you push in it will make a lock sound. Do it for all four ink cartridges. Now close the ink cartridge chamber. Go to the screen. You should be able to see the main screen with the estimated level of ink. Once you see that, now we are ready to use this printer for the copy. Next is to do the Wi-Fi setting. So click on the setting icon. Scroll down. Look for network ok Wi-Fi find Wi-Fi network select your Wi-Fi enter your Wi-Fi password using this keypad click ok once you enter the password so printer is connected to the Wi-Fi press this button and you should be able to see the main screen of your printer now printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network I am going to add in my iPhone and here we have to open the so this is the Brother Connect app. In the app you will see the plus button on the top. Select it. Register your machine. Wait for your printer to appear in this screen. And once you see your printer just simply select it. So printer comes up on the main screen and we can start using it for printing and scanning. For example to scan I, if I click on the scan button I can use this section for the top feeder tray of the printer for multiple scannings downwards on this corner and click scan so let's wait and see if scan is working yes so it is scanning so this way we can do the setup of this printer and we can start using it for wireless scanning if you want you can add more pages or you can save it so click done button and we can save it in a location we can save it to files anywhere we want and the next thing is to print select any document you have to print and click on the print button you can take the paper tray out here So this way we can do the complete setup of this printer and we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning. Thanks for watching.